guess what day it is? Yep, here we go with another water marble. Only this time I'm gonna use a couple of new things. So let's get started. This time I'm using OPI color paints. Starly Eclipse. Now this isn't quite like the Ultima, it's much more runny, but I'm gonna use this as my base. This is something new that I just got from Sally's. It's uh, finger paints and I believe it's called Colorful Collage. Yep, there we go, Colorful Collage. This I'm gonna just um, dab on the tip of my nail. And as always, I'm using my trusty tape and my dapping sponge. A dipping cup that I had some room temperature water that I let sit for about two hours. And this is after like four coats of the Eclipse, but I'm also putting on a quick dry top coat, which is Seche Vite. Seche Vite is really smelly. It smells like car paint, but it dries fast and it does the trick. Now, after my nails are dry from the Seche Vite, I'm gonna put on the finger paints, that colorful collage, um, seriously glitter stuff on top of the sponge and if you remember from my previous video the reason why I'm using the sponge is because the liquid from the thing uh, from the nail polish sucks up into the sponge leaving the glitter behind that way you get maximum coverage of the glitter and I could have left it just like that but no I want more now that my fingers are all taped up my nails are dry so let's get started with the bullseye I'm gonna take my uh, sewing needle, and I also forgot to mention to keep like a paper towel beside you because after each swipe from the design, you're definitely gonna need to wipe off the needle. Make sure that you have the cap of um, the nail polish really loose, that way you can, oh, I don't know what that was, but anyway, make sure that the cap to each uh, nail polish bottle is loose, that way you can just put in a drop of each color and like usual I'm doing it in the rainbow colors pink orange yellow green any day now oh there we go the blue always for some reason gave me a little bit of a hard time and then the purple and then I'm gonna repeat those colors so enjoy the rainbow And just as I put in my pin and make the design, my battery quits. So I didn't get to actually show you how I did the design. But here I go, gonna get ready to dip my finger, but I also forgot to mention to keep a Q-tip handy. Cause when you dip your finger, you're gonna blow up, uh, you're gonna blow on the top to dry that residue up there because if you pull your finger out it'll just mess up the design and as you can see here I have a couple of bubbles so what I'm gonna do is take the pin slowly pull those bubbles away then pull my finger out slowly and look at that that's probably like the most beautiful water marble I've ever ever done and seen by the way and then with scissors Cut the back of the tape, carefully peel that tape away from your nail, there we go, and then voila, but you know, of course you're going to need to clean up, so use a clean up brush and some acetone and wipe away all the stuff around your nail and this is what you got, but I also recommend putting on another top of sashuit on top. So. After so many compliments and people asking me, how did you do this? How did you do that? Of course, I had to make another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and you liked it. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye.